Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to make our own custom paint freehand drawing tool in Android. Let's begin. We will create a new project. So, it's a basically a kind of paint uh, app uh, or drawing app which you will create. So, we will create, we will name this app as paint. drawing app and I click finish wait for my env environment to load so once my environment loads up uh, I'll run this in an emulator the empty app or the default app so that my emulator can load up it takes a while sometimes to for the emulator to load up in parallel I'll uh, start my coding and first and foremost I'll grant certain permissions to user one is to read and write external stories so read external storage and write external storage we will require this permission uh, because we will be saving the file also what we will be creating in our paint so write external storage yeah these two permissions may be good to have and before doing anything uh, what i will do is in a java code in the own create method itself first and foremost i will activity i will take the permission from the request permission from the user to grant these two permissions this control D new string manifest dot permission dot read external stories manifest dot permission dot write external stories and then package manager permission granted yeah so this line will be responsible to get uh, the required permission from the user no, no. First and foremost, what we'll do is in our layout, uh, we'll design our layout. So the default, I will just zoom a little bit. Yeah. So the default text view, I don't need. So I'll just remove it. And most likely, I will need a button and 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 an image view because the image view is the where is the place where I'll show the image uh, or the drawing, the sketch and id we can leave it as it is in the image view i will give the constraints but okay let me do one thing let me just minimize this side so that i can see the constraints and i'll give all the constraints and please note i'll make all the constraints zero this one also probably zero and this also most likely zero so that it can cover The complete layout, I think uh, I may have to expand it for the bottom one manually. So that's how I will do. So I want to keep some space in the bottom because I'll place a button also to put my save file. And uh, okay, so in this width, I think I can make it as a 0 dp, which will match my whatever the constraints I have given. And one button I'll place at the bottom to save the file and name it as save i'll give the constraints to this one also and probably i can make it to something uh, i can make it very close to the image whatever we have image view whatever we have inserted and in this uh, java code first and foremost what i'll do is i'll create a public method public void button save image so that i can go back to the layout and associate this method using the on click attribute of the button so if i scroll down here in the on click attribute i can use this method which i have just now defined to associate it with this particular method perfect okay so now i can start my java code first i'll create few class variables so one is the okay image view image view and in the on click on create method itself I'll associate this image view to the find view by id r dot id dot image view the respective widget in my layout apart from this we'll also need few other class variables one is the okay we'll need the coordinates so when the user is drawing on the layout we'll have the coordinates uh, in the float format so I'll just say float and float a start x which is the co x coordinate of the starting point and I'll uh, initialize everything to minus one 
uh, and what else? I'll just do one thing. I'll copy paste this. Control C. I think it should be yeah, float. Okay, and then I'll make it for this is for Y. So I can just change it to a start Y, and then we'll need again for end index or a stop end x and this one will be for end y okay so once we have all these four variables other variables we will need is uh, one is we will need is for bitmap because bitmap will uh, require and will require the canvas on which we will be drawing so canvas and we may need a something called paint we'll we'll see where we'll use it uh, i'm just like no making these variables so we'll use these variables later uh, let's move on and first and foremost what i will implement is the on touch event uh, method which is that uh, method uh, given this one the method provided by the system so this is an override method and over here this motion event this event variable is the important one which we will be using to capture our coordinates so in this event say for example i will use if else so if this event event.getAction is equal to motion event and here if you see there are various options which we will get so let me first complete this motion event.action so we will get options like up down and move so down is the point when the press or the click started so this will give us the coordinates of the starting point so what we can do is we can use this float start x and event dot get x and similarly we can use for float start y so event get y and i think that's all we required here and similarly we can write another method to when the action is up which is basically the user has stopped uh, doing or stop pressing the uh, screen so that time we will get is the not the start but the end points end points and x and similarly here and y and after this we can call a particular method which will draw it so let me do let me draw implement first another method called private i don't think it needs to return anything draw paint a sketch whatever i mean i'm just using all the names here just to make sure that we understand what it will do it will either draw paint or sketch uh, this particular method and no i don't think it even requires to take view as a input so it doesn't require any input because most of the variables are class variables and the data will be accessible over here i can probably rename this as sketch image yeah okay so what we can do over here in this particular method first and foremost we'll create our bitmap so right now we have just defined this uh, uh, declared this variables in as a class variables but we have not defined or initialize them so we can first check whether bitmap is equal to null if it's null then let's first create it so to create bitmap what we can do is we can use this bitmap dot create bitmap and here we'll use most likely this uh, this uh, fourth signature and for that we'll use image view get width will be my width image view dot get height and the config could be i think a r g b a t t yeah this could be my config so once we our bitmap is created then we can also create the canvas new no no i think it's, it's, the variable is with a small new canvas and here i can pass the bitmap which we just now created we'll also need paint which if you remember uh, we have uh, uh, created a paint variable again we'll be uh, defining it over here the different attributes of that so we can set different attributes say for example set 
color and color could be okay i think i should have used color dot red then what else we can set the stroke or you can also set probably anti alias that could be true we can set uh, style and the style could be a style stroke okay and then the size uh, or the width of the stroke so what we can do is set stroke uh, stroke width and that width probably let me just give some numbers based on my experience it will be quite okay types okay so once we have defined or uh, created our variables for paint then the only thing which remains uh, for us is to draw our image using this draw line on the canvas and then we'll put this canvas or through bitmap on this image uh, view so what we'll do over here it we will create a start point and then we'll need a start x a start y and then we'll need end x and end y and the last argument is i think paint perfect so this line will draw the line whatever the user has entered as x and y and then at the end we'll set this as a set image bitmap bitmap in this uh, uh, image view what we can see over here so we'll call this particular method from over here in our own touch event so once this down button is create uh, pressed then we'll get our uh, start x and start y variables when up is pressed we'll get index and in the y so assuming that all the variables are created so then we can call our this particular method which is draw and probably I, i'll do one thing in my style i prefer to start the maintenance with the small letters yeah keeping consistency with the uh, android uh, conventions anyway uh, so yeah this will be my method which will be called here but one more thing i would like to add over here what if the user is slowly moving so it's, it should be very smooth and it should be able to capture all the points so there is another uh, action which is basically i'll show you motion event dot when the action is moving so when it moves then what to do so that time i'll most likely this will be the code which i have to call again because assuming that person is slowly moving he has still not uh, taken out the uh, his movement or his hand from the screen but still those points the intermediate points should also be captured so this will be responsible to capture those points and then draw the sketch using this at line number 84 and then we may have to set it again those intermediate points as start points for the next point so that this goes in iterations unless the person uh, moves the hands completely up the user and the uh, sketch ends so this will make sure that we have a complete smooth freehand drawing this particular method okay so more or less i think our code is done uh, I can run it to see how it comes up. Uh, I think I missed out uh, completing the save image button uh, method. So let the app come up in parallel on the right hand side. I'll complete that method as well. Okay, so I think it came up and it's asked me to permission click allow. Although it won't be effective because uh, anyway I have not yet completed this method. But let me see if it. Okay, so if you see uh, whatever I'm drawing, it comes up very really nicely. Uh, so I can probably write something okay okay but if you're seeing there is some kind of uh, deviation on the y side and what I have noticed is we may have to take care of that offset over here while drawing the line and that offset could be I think around 220 is what I have noticed so we'll see it later. Uh, let me first complete the the save image button as well, so that we can uh, test the complete app in one go. So over here, first and foremost, what I'll do is I'll create a file. File save image. You can name this variable anything, and then the file will be new file. Get 
external files directory and in this files directory what we can do is we can check for probably yeah any variables I, I'll go for pictures because it will be images and then second variable will be I think the file name uh, so the name of the file could be I will make it based on the calendar so get instance because I, otherwise every time the it the my previous file will get overwrite so I don't want that so get time and probably I'll convert it into two stream and I will add the dot jpg extension because it's an image file that's all okay so once we have this file uh, variable created then we'll use this for our file output stream file output stream and new so new file file same thing is perfect there's some warning let me see what is okay it's ask you to it with try catch just do it uh, yeah it's better and then we can use our bitmap to compress and write it bitmap dot compress format jpg and then the quality could be i don't know 100 output stream could be what we have just not defined yes so that's all i guess and we can just close our first we can flush our output stream and then we can i can close also yeah yeah few other uh, errors let me see what are those so it says to add okay file not found exception so what i will do is in fact i'll change this exception to exception um, which will capture all kinds of exception because there could be exception on bitmap also so better to have a more yeah this kind of exception so let me rerun this code again and see how it comes up so the app has come up again let me see if i can draw something first a straight line looks good i can try to write something like my channel name which is okay i'm using the mouse so my handwriting is not very good program and then I can write probably world. Okay, so something is coming up. Looks good. I don't know if it's readable, re readable or not, but I will give us some expression marks. Good. So it's so easy. We can see like we our uh, freehand drawing is coming up. We can add things like how to delete, how to change the color, how to have different kind of strokes. Uh, how to set a witness, but I just want to keep it simple uh, this particular code. Okay, let me save the image and see how it comes up So I click save I could have uh, given some kind of toast here on save toast make text and this and the character sequence could be file save successfully uh, yeah, and then the length toast length could be probably long. I prefer to keep it long, and that's all. Uh, okay, I think I'll have to rerun, but let me rerun this code to see. But I I think that that save should have been happened. I'll again write something very simple. I'll just write probably I'll make a I'll write something simple. P and w which is which stands again for my channel programmer world okay and giving the exclamation marks i think when i'm running it on my actual phone it will work fine because that time my hands will have a better control file saved successfully so if i can go in my files uh, system and see the saved files so i can go to the my android data and yeah in the my app files pictures yeah perfect so these are the two files i think this was the first image which we wrote initially and this is the second image which we just now wrote with pw programmer world and then yeah so that's all i hope i'll go back to my uh, over here and uh, we can also reset it if you want uh, like after say we can make the bitmap null or something like that here 
bitmap equal to null because if you don't want to continue with the same image if you want to reset you can even uh, add another button which will reset uh, and just add this line of the code bitmap null which will erase all the things which is previously there because right now if i add one more line it will retain the previous image so if you don't want to retain you can just add this line number 121 and it will remove it but anyway i'll delete this line because i want to retain in my functionality the previous image unless a user restarts the app so i keep it short and simple so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions control z okay so there was some error i think by mistake i deleted this line anyway so i'll repeat my ending statement if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye